What's good, champions of Warframe? Top G content creator Warframe is here with the Wisp Prime build. I know you've been waiting for this vacation when I'm gonna do the Wisp Prime build. There you go. Five builds, four of them are for uh, veterans and one for, for beginners. So, beginners, new players, don't worry, you can get something out of this video. Let alone the experience and small tricks I'm gonna uh, give. Everything gonna be explained. So, Worry not, we're gonna start from void mod just to show you a bit, like small thing without buffs, without crazy things, without uh, no crazy stuff. Small uh, idea of the damage this build can do, alright? And with this build you can reach damage cap, no problemo, you know, if you know. Alrighty mighty, let's get going. Okay, boom, bridge surge as uh, always, uh, this build has eclipse uh, on it. Uh, okay. Let's get going. Okay, let's get a bit close to the enemies to bridge surge them. And let me do the double jump. And boom. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing, 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 nothing will stand in your way with this bit. Look at that. 109 million crit. No problem. This is just, uh, as I tell you guys, this without combo, without any. I have done nothing. 157 million. No problem. Easy breezy. It's not uh, an issue. This is like very normal day with Papa uh, Han. Alright, look at that. Boom. No problem. Alright, look at that. Boom. If you want to learn more, of course, we have a lot of videos in the channel. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button uh, as always. Uh, just a bit more, guys, a bit more. This is so satisfying, you know? Those damage numbers, all that kind of stuff. It's so awesome. You will love it. Uh, just give it a chance, give it a try, give it a try. Don't judge the builds, don't judge things without trying because someone told you this doesn't work or that doesn't work. I can only guarantee for you. Let's go, one more shot. Boom. Let's go. Alright, abort mission. Now it is time for Simi Lacrom to explain to you everything. I'm gonna try to make this build as fast as possible, as quick as possible. Let me put back my glaive. Here we are. Okay. So, starting with Wisp Abilities, let's start with the starter build. This is the first build we're gonna talk about, okay? There you go. Growing Power, Prime Sure Footed, Prime Continuity, Ogre Reach, Hunter Adrenaline, Rolling Guard, Prime Flow, Umbral Intensify, Adaptation, Archon Shard, Arcane Energize, and Arcane Fury. Now, if you are a new player and you don't have Prime Sure Footed, worry not, you can replace it with anything that you want. Just when you fall down, just react fast, and know how to do it so you don't die okay now let's talk about her abilities her passive is very simple following between f uh, following flowing between dimensions wisp become invisible to enemies while in the air flowing between dimensions is using her wheel o wisp and r like sending it and then going back to it that means you are flowing into the dimensions uh, now we'll talk about reservoirs the reservoirs you have three reservoirs i'm gonna make it easy for you one gives you health one gives you speed and fire rate and one gives electricity damage to nearby enemies with 100 status means some kind of cc and now based on your range that's how wide you're gonna cc those enemies uh, will always uh, when you send her forward you can send her forward and you hold to send her faster or you can send her it's gonna go keep forward you click it you hit the button again you're gonna teleport to it and if you send it forward and you cast breach surge your uh will always will cast another breach surge right there okay now moving to breach surge this is the trickiest this is the power this is it this is the the, the thing open dimensional breach to overwhelm nearby enemies and cause them a release aggressive surge this the most important part about this is it does blind enemies means some kind of cc also it does damage multiplier this is where uh, things get sweet you can reach damage cap with this because the damage multiplier is massive and it works with a bit of strength now soul gate this is a very awesome cameo it's very awesome it's very good ability for star for a normal star shard you can go and elate everything on normal star shard but when it comes to steel path, this ability doesn't... Uh, Alright, now you can help yourself with reading some of the tips. It makes things uh, better. Okay, so let me then introduce you this uh, stuff. So, to navigate between your uh, flowers, as you can see, I'm navigating. If you look there in the... in the, You see that? They're running, rolling like this, okay? So, very simple. Red one gives you the health. There you go. Now, the green one gonna give you the fire rate and speed. 
Okay, now the blue one gonna give you electricity means gonna hit enemies with electricity. Now, if you notice, there is three running around you. There is one little flowers running around you is the buff. Now, if you step out of here, you have like 50 seconds or 45 seconds, you're gonna still have those buffs. Doesn't mean you need to stay here. So you can stay here, infinite time, and then you go out, do whatever you want, loot or whatever, and then you come back, you get yourself buffed. And this will help new players understand how Wisp works. Okay? Now, I'm gonna summon some enemies to show you the uh, second uh, ability. So, second ability, very simple. You send Wisp right there in the air. If I hit her one more time, I'm gonna teleport to her. You see? I'm gonna go back. Now, she's going there. And then hit one in there. Boom. I'm there. Now, if I want to make her rush, look. Make her super fast. You see what I reached? I'm gonna go back. Look. Super fast. Now, to make her super fast, you need to hold. Hold, like the moment you release her, boom, hold, like this, keep keep your keep your finger in there, okay, look at this, sending her there, boom, easy, easy, okay, now, if I cast, if I send her out there, like this, and I cast Breach Surge, as you can see, she cast it as well, there you go, I wasn't there in the enemies, I'm gonna, look, boom, now, Breach Surge will blind enemies, as you can see, boom, 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 and it gives them, of course, radiation damage, there you go, and your damage multiplier will be applied to those enemies as well. Now, your Kamiyamiya, there you go. Now, this is your Kamiyamiya. Okay, now, this doesn't stop here. Some Thanos say, oh, Hank, it's bad. But, oh, listen, if you click, you do more damage. Look at that. Level 195 uh, Heavy Corrupted Gunner Steel Path version is dead. Okay? Now you know, you know. Now, the thing is this. From each... You, you can cast six flowers. It doesn't matter. You cut, you cut, uh, you cut six blue. One, two, three, four, five. You see that? Three and three. We have six. Look at the mini map. That's how you find it. Now, what we do with the blue one is actually we make CC around the doors of the map. So we make enemies slow. But that doesn't work good when you have speed va and your teamwork. It's more like if you go solo and stuff like that. So starters, as I promised you. There you go, something for you, enjoy, have fun with that. Now, we talk about now more advanced stuff, uh, let's talk about damage cap. So, we're gonna be using growing power, applying set to effect with weapon increase, ability strength 25%, primate sure footed 100%, chance to resist knockdown, transfortitude for strength, primate continuity duration, blind rage strength, rolling guard, of course, uh, archon stretch for the electricity to give you um, let's say more uh, energy. Umbral Anticify for strength, Ogre Reach for ability range, and gives you extra uh, from energy spent on covers to shield. Now, if you're gonna do shield gating, uh, I know it hurts you maybe uh, a bit. Uh, Prime uh, Flow uh, Energy Max. Now, Fury and uh, uh, Energize. If you want, you can go Molt Augment. There is no issue with that. You can boost your Eclipse even further. Your Eclipse already have, let's say, uh, have like around 545. Let's summon Heavy Corrupted Gunners. Uh, same thing, guys. Same things. If you're a beginner and you're still watching the video, uh, it's the same thing we're going to do. We're going to cast uh, our first uh, first one. Sorry, cast two times. The second one. Here you go. Red. And cast this one. Always to have it because they give you extra... 25 damage per one so there is like 75 damage extra or something like that and there you go because the bridge search boom 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 and then double jump and boom our glaive will do the job for us and they should be dead as any of them get slashed boom they're gonna be dead there is no joke about it okay boom look at that and thanks to DE again for making the new animation. It's very good. So you see the damage that you're doing very clearly. Now, moving to the second build, which I make as a survival build. This is where we all know Wisp is a squishy Warframe. Yes, I know you jump, you become invisible. But when you hit, you become not invisible. And when enemies are overwhelming you, and we all know that. So we're going to go around here. Uh, continuity adaptation, transfer to the rolling guard, flow and intensifier, irritation and strength, uh, stretch, uh, footed and growing power as well. Growing power is not necessary in this build, so you can switch it with anything you want. If you're gonna go, like let's say, you can use steel charge for your melee weapon. To uh, you, you can play around with anything you want. Uh, Arcane Fury is good here because, it all depends on the weapon that you're using. If you're using a shotgun, if you're using a current weapon, whatever you're using, you can flip steel charge and fury. I will highly recommend that you use uh, Aura Augment. Uh, sorry, Aura Mod uh, format to, to, to for for her aura. So you keep changing things uh, around. So this build how it works very 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 simply too. I'm gonna unpause them. 
and let them go and hear exactly how the build works okay so resonator what it does it's gonna distract enemies right enemies that gets distracted you are they're vulnerable to you like you can do whatever you desire with those enemies you can lock down them you can bridge surge them all right and you can of course kill them without any issues uh, they are all yours and you, you didn't get any single damage as they are chasing your resonator and resonator is recastable at any time you want it's simple as that now moving next to the third build third build is uh, freeze here well, okay wait the survival uh, we're gonna use resonator from octavia freeze we're gonna be using the thermal sunder from who from ghost baby now this one is a bit tricky for some players some players knows how to use it some player doesn't know how to use it but i will show you uh, everything that you need to know okay it's very simple ability, but still is very powerful and quick to use. So, here what you're gonna do. Always, always, always be sure your flowers are on. At least the three, three of them, each from, uh, uh, one from each. Okay, the Thermal Sander, the th uh, fourth ability, now we have it on Hamlet or Ghost. If you hit one time, as you can see, boom, that's a call. If you hit it another time, they froze. Now, if you hold, it casts fire. Okay, so now we have fire and we have, look, boom, one. Two, they're frozen. Now, research. search. Look at that. Look, look at them. Look at look at them suffering for their life. Look. Okay, so this idea to use is CC the enemies, making them frozen so that you can do whatever you desire with them as the same as bridge. Uh, surge works uh, on them. Okay? Simple as that. Now, moving to the next build, which is armor strip. Now, Many Thanos will disagree with you to use this one because they have their right. They're right to disagree with you because when you use this armor strip, terrified to be specific, uh, enemies will start running in fear. Now, if you go survival mission or something like that, people doesn't like it because the, uh, the uh, life support gonna run down. But they will like you for armor stripping them. So, it gets a bit tricky. I would highly recommend using this one uh, when you go by yourself or it's a defense or interception anything but survival with players if you go like solo you can chase those enemies but with players they like to stick in a corner Cora, uh, uh, speedva and so on and especially if you use creeping terrify terrify augment effects enemies have 60 percent reduced movement speed now this gets tricky because the life support will suffer and everyone will hate you in your team so keep that in mind and we're going to be using molt augment because we don't have enough strength to uh, armor strip the things. Always your three flowers has to be active. Always your flowers is the best, the first thing you want uh, to do. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, armor strip. Easy, easy. And then, of course, you can kill them however you desire. Okay, simple as that. Now, armor stripping is the one. The armor stripping is the strongest thing in this game. I'm telling you, the armor strip is the strongest thing in the game. Now, we're back to the starter. This is the starter build and so on. Now, small, 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 small extra thing for you guys. So, let's say you're going with a team. Now, you're saying, Hank, I'm going with a team. Which best build I use? Okay, I will tell you something. If you go with a very solid team as a support, I would highly recommend for you, you use one specific mod, which is Total Eclipse with your Eclipse. Your team will love you for this. They will love you. For this, especially if there is one in the team have like roar or something, they will love you for this. Of course, the strength is not as high as, uh, let's say, this is not a meme build. This is not just go do damage cap build. This is a built in damage cap. This is a real build. I mean, I could push the strength even further. I could make it even crazy but you uh, you will not be able to play this build i could go for a uh, void strike i could put 100 percent in my parazon i could do a lot of stuff to increase my strength to reach beyond 700 but but it will be a meme and you will be dying and you're gonna come back to the channel and you're gonna say hank the build sucks i don't want that i am working for my reputation baby <laughs> so total eclipse is something very good that you want to have all the time so you can replace it uh, with uh, for example we can replace it with flow no problem because all you have to do is cast eclipse and cast your flowers you don't have a lot to cast and they don't cost uh, a lot this is the best thing about uh, her and of course mold augment is a must to have in there now 
There is extra things like you, for example, you can prime enemies with Sedo. This is the build extra for you. You can prime enemies with Epitaph, of course, if you want to do crazy damage. Uh, of course, this is the Glaive build I just used for this uh, show for the viral. Uh, Vazarin, don't worry about it. You can uh, use whatever you want. I, I mean, if you go support, Vazarin is your friend. Vazarin, so you revive your teammates. You'll be useful there, not only giving them Eclipse with Total uh, Eclipse and Panzer Rupafila and so on. Now, let's talk about shards. Now, you can go mixed hybrid between duration and strength. You can go uh, between uh, uh, casting speed and uh, strength and duration. You can mix things around if you don't have. But, of course, for me, I will go full uh, ability strength. I have three Tau Forged ability strength and two non uh, uh, Tau Forged. This is not a trick or something. This is just I don't have all uh, Tau Forged because I have them in other frames. That's why I always recommend do your Archon Hunt and do your uh, Kal's uh, mission, especially when Crimson is around. By this, we come to an end. Hank always delivers. I promise you guys, you're gonna have Wisp Prime build the same day as the release. Big love to you all. Not one build. <laughs> Who does one build? <laughs> Five builds, baby, for four for end gamers and one for the starters. Still, the starters build you can start doing your steel path with it. The endurance run will be very hard until you learn how to use your uh, dragon keys and uh, shield gate, and you have some brands and you can push towards the level cap. Big love to you all. Don't forget to sub, comment, and like, and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite build. And stay tuned, don't fall asleep yet. Fashion frame is coming next.